greetings from um, the Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Association of India. I am Dr. Girish Rao. I am the Honorary General Secretary of the Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgeons of India. Um, I'm reaching out to um, my medical and dental colleagues today to um, bring about an awareness of maxillofacial surgery and also I would like to uh, introduce to you about our International Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery Day which is celebrated all over the world on 13th of February every year. The theme this year is Metamorphosis of the Face, Combating Mucormycosis and Transforming Lives. In the last two years, COVID has completely ravaged the entire world. India especially had a bigger problem especially during the second wave when we had an endemic of mucormycosis commonly called as the black fungus especially last year in this pandemic now a lot of people were affected with this kind of problem and uh, we had a number of presentations starting from simple things like mobility of very healthy teeth the exposure of the bone and necrosis of the entire face happening and a lot of patients unfortunately died. If we look at some of these cases, it did not even spare the younger age group. Extremes of ages were also affected and children were also affected with this horrific disease. What did we do to save patients' lives? It was a multidisciplinary approach. A number of maxillofacial surgeons, our EMT colleagues, ophthalmologists, neurosurgeons, prosthodontists, all of us got together and we did, at that point of time, procedures to save lives. Our medical colleagues also managed these patients very well with antifungal medications and we were able to essentially save these patients from death. However, We've had a major problem wherein we still have number of patients who survived this endemic within the pandemic with gross facial deformities having had their jaws completely excised. This has left to facial deformity, inability to swallow food, a change in their speech with nasal uh, nasality of speech, a huge psychological impact with low self-esteem in these patients. And you can see some of these patients, teenagers affected with such horrific kind of facial deformities. Their entire upper jaw is completely removed. And in some cases, we had to even take out the orbit. And this is the kind of deformities which has been left. And a crippling facial deformity is now a burden which we need to address. If we look at the statistics, according to ICMR, we have almost about 40,000 plus patients who are treated during this pandemic. And about 25,000 patients are yet to receive this reconstruction and rehabilitation of their faces. So what is the proposed treatment which as maxillofacial surgeons we would like to come up with? We need to have a multidisciplinary approach and that is where we have obturators which are prosthesis devices which can be used for just fixing these defects but a more permanent solution and a better solution with technology would be using zygomatic implants, using patient specific 3D printed implants and also microvascular reconstruction using bone and soft tissue from other parts of the body. Just to show how we do these simple procedures of using an obturator, wherein our prosthodontic colleagues take up this kind of treatment. But this also has a limitation. Patients have to remove these prostheses and they can still have functional deficit with this kind of issues, especially speech and swallowing. And that is where technology today especially in maxillofacial surgery, has come into place. These are zygomatic implants. These are implants, long implants, 
which engage the cheekbone as there is no jaw itself, either upper or lower. And this is a fantastic solution. Another solution could be the use of patient specific 3D printed prosthesis. And these are generally made of titanium or peak, which replaces the lost parts. And you can have a fixed prosthesis fixed onto these specific custom made implants. And that's where today our Make in India concept has really changed the entire dynamics. In the past, we used to send these kind of uh, images across the globe and get this fabricated from other parts of the world. But today we are doing it in a number of centers across the country. And that's how a patient specific implant looks like. And it is a game changer, I would say, in terms of reconstruction and rehabilitation of a patient. You can see in the mandible tube, many a times in mucor mycosis, although it is very common in the maxilla, but sometimes it is affecting the mandible. And you can see how we are using this latest technology in reconstructing as well as rehabilitating these kind of patients. It's a permanent solution and has completely transformed the way in which we can function today. Microvascular reconstruction is probably the gold standard. Of course, we will have to take parts from other parts of the body and that can also be used in the reconstruction and rehabilitation of the last parts of the face. So what is that we are looking at? I think we need to basically have a complete national plan where we can not only reconstruct but also rehabilitate these patients and bring them back into the normal lifestyle. And that is where we need to all put our minds together, seek funds from the government, from NGOs, maybe charitable organizations, get CSR funds in and help these unfortunate patients who have been ravaged with this kind of facial deformities. And that's where a number of specialities have come together. We are talking about getting in maxillofacial surgeons, our ENT colleagues, our plastic surgeons, ophthalmic surgeons, our prosthodontists, our Indian Dental Association members, and the Indian Medical Association members, all of them putting in their expertise and bringing that into the table so that at the end of the day, all these patients can be given a good dignity into their life. We can bring them back into their normal lifestyle. And that's where we need to seek out all these organizations to pitch in and contribute to help in reconstructing and rehabilitating these patients. I do hope that we start a national movement of all doctors, all dental surgeons and all specialists coming together and making a difference in a multi-modality kind of treatment and changing the lives of these patients who have been ravaged with the black fungus or mucormycosis. Thank you very much.